Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Grand Piano. My name is Wayne Picciano. Grand Piano is a rather unique television program produced at the Access Los Altos Studios at Foothill College in Los Altos Hills. Grand Piano is a program totally dedicated to classical piano music and the performers that make that music. In 1988, our program is being cablecast every Tuesday at 7 p.m. and a repeat broadcast the following Sunday at 8 p.m. Did I say a Tuesday? It should be Tuesday at 7 p.m. and Sunday at 8 p.m. Tonight you'll be hearing a program which includes the following works. The Chopin Barcarolle, Opus 60, the Beethoven Bagatelles, uh, Opus 126, the Debussy, Debussy Image, Book 2, and finally the Chopin Ballade Number 4. Our guest this week is Oakland pianist Chopin Yang. Welcome to Grand Piano, Chopin. Thank you uh, to invite me here. Chopin, can you tell us a little about yourself? Were you born in this country? No, um, I was born in Taiwan. Who did you study with? Did you start piano in Taiwan? Or? Yes, when I was five and uh, with a local piano, uh, piano teacher. Do you remember what inspired you to first play the piano when you started? Um, I had an uh, aunt who plays piano, so I wanted to learn. What are your musical goals these days? Do you want to concertize or record? Or <laughs> well, I want to expose myself uh, and play in, in this area in Bay Area. Experience. Yeah. Uh, what is your practice regimen? Are you a heavy practicer early morning or? Oh, it, it's very different now than early days in my my when I was students. Uh, now I I have a family and 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 a daughter, so I usually practice very early in the morning and very late in the evening. Ah. Okay, let's uh, get close to hearing some music. On January 9th, 1988, you recorded for us some very special videotapes. What are you gonna play first tonight? Uh, the Chopin Barcarolle. What is a Barcarolle? Uh, what kind of piece is it? A boat song. Mm. Yeah, I guess the, the rhythm is that of a, of a boat gently gliding the, in the yeah, water. Yeah, the left hand is doing the... Uh, Chopin composed his Barcarolle Opus 60 in 1845-46. Now this is very late Chopin. His opus numbers only run to 68, and that was uh, the Mazurka in F minor. And he died in 1849. Well, let's listen now to Chopin Yang's performance of the Chopin Barcarolle.
Well, that wonderful performance was the Chopin Barker Roll, Opus 60, performed by our guest artist, Xiao Pei Yang, from Oakland. You're watching Grand Piano on your community access channel, or perhaps on the South Bay Community College Network. My name is Wayne Picciano. Xiao Pei, what kind of piano do you uh, prefer? Oh, um, personally? Yes. I, I like uh, uh, Steinway. And there's usually two types, the, the New York and the Hamburg. Do yes. you have a preference there? Uh, before, uh, I used to play uh, Hamburg Steinway, but now I, I used to play American Steinway. I like them, too. And they are improving a lot. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Can a pianist really feel the difference between pianos when you go down and you play the same piece? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Tonight, oh. I'm playing on Bosendorfer. That's right. right. That's a totally different touch. Yes, yes. That takes a while to get used to. <laughs> <laughs> Next on our program, you're going to play uh, some of the uh, Beethoven Bagatelles, Opus 126. Now, isn't that pretty late? Beethoven? Yes, I believe he composed uh, in 1823, um, uh, about the same time as uh, the Ninth Symphony. Ninth Symphony. Yeah. Gee, the Eighth Symphony was way back in 1808 or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So it's one of his uh, late work. Uh, Beethoven was born in 1770 and he died in Vienna in 1827. So you see, four years after the Bagatelles, he passed away. The only uh, piano composition listed in Groves that is later than the Bagatelles is the Great Fugue, Opus 134, composed in 1826. Well, let's listen now to this very interesting and unusual set of Bagatelles by Beethoven.
Well, that very unusual group of pieces was the set of Bagatelles, Opus 126, by Ludwig von Beethoven. It's a very late work. Our guest artist tonight is uh, Oakland pianist Xiao Pei Yang. You're watching Grand Piano on your community access channel, and my name is Wayne Picciano. Our next work will be the Book Two Image of Debussy. This is a group of three impressionistic pieces. What are the titles and the uh, translations of these, Chopin? Okay. okay, the first one is uh, Les Cloches à travers les feuilles. What does that mean? Uh, it means um, mm, bell, bells, the church bells uh, through, the, through leaves? The, the leaves, yeah. 
Now, this uh, you said this was a religious holiday that this... Yeah, it's uh, portrayed a whole Saints Day. In, all Saints Day. Yeah, in, in France, you know, in the village. So all the uh, church bell, you know, uh, rang and... What's and the second piece? Second piece is... Uh, La lune qui descend sur la table qui fut. It's about uh, the moon. The moon uh, over the temple. Over the temple, yeah. And the third piece is uh, poisson d'or, goldfish. Goldfish. Yes. Do you think that was a, a painting of a goldfish or a real goldfish? Or? Oh, I I believe uh, it's. Uh, um, um, lacquer tray lacquer that tray yeah lacquer. that uh, Japanese lacquer tray that someone gave to Debussy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's listen now to this wonderful set of three pieces, the Debussy Image Book Two.
You've just heard the image by Claude Debussy, book two set. Our guest artist tonight is Xiao Pei Yang from uh, Oakland, California. We reached the final work in Ms. Yang's television recital. We hear next the wonderful fourth ballade of Frederick Chopin. Chopin, can you tell us a little about the uh, fourth ballade? When was it composed? Uh, I think in 1842. Chopin died in 1849, so that's seven years before his death. What are the difficulties of the ballad? Are there anything that you, you think about before you go in that you worry is going to come out? No, I don't think so. But just the whole, whole piece yeah, should be whole together. Sometimes One it's a big yeah, sweep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a, a challenge piece. It's a for very me. exciting yeah. piece, too. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear now this dramatic ballad, the fourth ballad of Frederick Chopin.
that very dramatic and exciting work was the fourth blot of Frédéric Chopin. Chopin, what happens next in your future? What, what works are you working on? Um, I'm preparing two recitals uh, uh, in this spring uh, sometime, one at Mills College and one at Stanford. That's spring 1988? Yes. Will you do some of these works or do you have any new works? Will new, you new works, all, all, all new, new things. Will you do any Messiaen? Messiaen, yes. Ah. Yes. <laughs> well, Chopin, I want to thank you for all of our crew and for myself, of course, for taking the time out to travel all the way to Los Altos oh. three times or four times to be a guest in our show. We've enjoyed working with you and getting to know you, and uh, I hope you'll join us again for future shows. It's been You're a pleasure. You're such a wonderful pianist. I will. <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching Grand Piano. As you can see, our show is totally dedicated to a really fine classical piano music. When you join us for future shows, you'll hear the uh, artistry of uh, Sandra Cotton, uh, Sandra Lowe from uh, Los Angeles. We'll hear John Nakamatsu in a new recital, Lynn McConaughey, Corinne Barkin, Victoria Neve, and of course, many others. If you enjoyed our show, please send for our program guide or pick one up at the uh, Los Altos bookstore on State Street. Can we show our uh, mailing address? If they can put it up, we'll see what that is. You can write to that and we'll send you one directly. My name is Wayne Picciano. I feel privileged to be your host for this series. Please join us again. Good night.